All right, folks, last video here. It's getting late. It's time to go to bed. But I've got one more video for you guys to watch that will help you lead through this last piece, which is how do I actually use meters to measure current instead of voltage? So how do I measure and use a meter to find out how fast the electricity is going through a particular path, through a circuit? That's going to take a little bit of work, but it's actually not too bad to do, especially since we're working with this Tinkercad product here. So I'm just going to click here. First step is to delete this wire. What has to happen is we need to hook up every single meter so that it's forced to travel through the meter in order to actually complete the circuit. So we're going to break the circuit, which we've just done. We're going to spread things out a little bit, and we're going to force this, each meter, to be part of the path that we want to measure. Okay. Now, first of all, you'll notice it's still set up to measure voltage. So I guess before we go any further, let's come over here. And with each of the meters, let's change it to measure amperage, to measure current. You'll see that the black dot now has moved to the A with all three of these. And we're ready to go. Okay, We're going to spread things out. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. Actually, I may not explain why. That might be a good discussion in person. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it impossible for this path to be completed unless you use, use the circuit. So in other words, right now, red is coming out of the power supply, travels through this wire wire goes diagonally when I push the button down and what we had it set up to do was immediately travel through the resistor but now I'm going to move it over a row. Now those are no longer connected. The only way that I'm going to allow this to connect is to go through the meter. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to take my meter. I'm going to move it kind of down here. It's going to get a little gunked up by the way. This is the only bad thing I've noticed right now so far is that it's kind of a lot to put into a small space. Here we go. So I'm trying not to connect to a dot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect here out to the positive end. So I'm going to kind of go here up. Okay. And then I'm going to come over in the opposite end uh, there over to here is going to connect to my resistor. Okay. Now I can drag those around if I want to. Again, I kind of like have a nice neat line, so I'm going to go here, make this look nice and neat. There we go. Okay, so what happens now is this when the, the circuit tr goes through, okay, the electricity is going to go diagonally, it's going to travel out through this green wire, through the meter, out the black end to here where it connects finally with the resistor. In other words, without this current meter in place, without the AM meter, the circuit will not work. I'm going to do the same thing now with the blue and the green LEDs. Earlier, remember, they were wired in parallel. So how we had them wired earlier was like this and like this. In the last video, I explained that the path came through. There's one path, single path through the resistor. But when it got to this point, it split. It could go through blue or it could travel upward and go through green. So we had a parallel circuit. We're going to move this over just a little. Well, no, we can leave those here. This is fine. Okay. We can leave this here. Again, it's going to a little, little gunked up because our breadboard is so tiny. What we're going to do is this. We're just going to go, okay, I'm going to draw some wires out here first to the meters, and then I'm going to move the meters in place. I'm going to take the meter. I'm going to say in order to complete this blue circuit, I'm going to click on the actual leg of the LED. I'm going to go to the meter here to the red end. And then I'm going to drag it into place. Well, I want it somewhere, you know, maybe around down here. I really do not like how it tries to put it in one of these breadboard holes. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, see if I can get it in a better location. Let's say right about, no, 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 right there. Okay, this is fine. Once it goes through here, it comes out the blue LED, it goes through the current meter. Let's come out the negative end, and let's travel to one of these black holes out to ground. Okay, we just completed the circuit for the blue LED. The only way that this blue LED is going to connect to ground right now is to go through the ammeter connected to it. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to connect up here. Um, in fact, let's take this and let's just move it somewhere completely different. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just just to prove a point. Okay, right now it comes out, it comes up here. You can travel to any of these things. So let's just take a wire right here. Let's say, let's just jump it over. Okay. So what we've done is we've given this a connection out of the resistor can travel over here through the green LED. Okay, 
It doesn't really do much, except I, I just want you to see something later on. I want you to notice something, hopefully. It'll be a good discussion in class. The only way that this green LED is going to be able to connect back to ground in is to go through our current meter. So one to positive. There we go. And then the other one is going to go to negative. So I'm just going to go for this one. Let's just go right here. That's pretty convenient. Okay. Kind of move that a little bit closer. Now we can adjust our wires if we want to. I talked about making them look nice and neat. This looks pretty messy, but whatever. It's going to get the point across. Now, when I hit the play button, okay, what we're going to see are some values pop up. I'm not going to hit the play button, though, because I want you to get those on your own. What we have, though, is a current meter that measures then this path, single path. Comes through here, still a single path. So the number that we read here is going to be the current for the single path, the combined path of everything that we have so far. It's going to come out and it's going to go through the resistor. And at this point in time, it's going to have a choice. Do I want to go down and go through the blue? In which case, I will have a circuit with an ammeter that only measures the current through the blue path. But then I'll also have the ability to go upward, travel over, go through the green LED, out through the current meter, the ammeter, and then out to ground. So this meter is going to measure the current strictly through the green path. And that's what I want you to do. Build this, press the button down. Don't forget to hold down the control button while you click so that the button stays in place. And I want you to use those measurements to try to draw some conclusions. Hopefully this video helps. I will see you guys soon in class and we're gonna talk about all these things that we're seeing and try to figure out what's going on.